six to nine Burnley um, France. Right, first round of the the Desert Championship. Wolf Creek, not an easy course. Um, first objective, make the cut. Let's go. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, live opening round coverage of the Desert Championship. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to close the deal this week after a strong top five finish a week ago. We'll join the action on the tee at the par 3-11. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Now this demands a classy touch. There's not a lot of movement in it, but it will be quick. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. So that rushed in for par here at 11, and he'll remain at plus four. Now to the par five, 12, pretty big hole with a really big green. And a really good uh, blue area to the left called water there. That's to be avoided off uh, this tee, that's for sure. A good try drive that avoids all of that. And then the, the hole is certainly reachable, but uh, as you can see, water creeps in again back right on this hole. So just don't get too cavalier here. Um, a five wouldn't be the worst score. I know you want better, but uh, believe me, seen many of sixes and sevens racked up here at 12. This may be a touch right. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Bring in Nota Begay, the third note of the old saying, everybody loves a winner, but in golf, it's not that simple. Top tens add up. Top tens are important because the top 25 at the end of this Corn Ferry Tour season move on, earn their privileges to play on the PGA Tour. So what's uh, your assessment of what you saw in that opening week? Well, that's the wonderful and intriguing thing about the game of golf, and in particular golf on the Corn Ferry Tour, is that in most cases you're judged on the body of work over the course of the year. Can you sustain a certain level of play consistently, accrue points, and keep yourself in that top 25 at the year end? And a top 10 in the first event of the year is a great way to get that going. And Noda, not only first event of the year, but first event as a professional. That was really well done.
Okay, not too bad there. This will slide a bit right. It's for birdie. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. Up next, another short par four, 350 yard, 13th here at Wolf Creek. It is a dog leg to the right. Big hitters might be tempted to cut the dog leg and go for the green, but buyer beware. Miss right, and your ball is gone. And this, not the longest hole players will encounter, so just an iron off the tee, and it works out to perfection. Now, from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he'll hold steady at plus three. Frank, describe the layout here at the 14th hole. It's 444 yards, and what a beautiful hole. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on a on a on something in the diff, in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 158 yards left to the hole. Wind is helping from behind so you can take a little less club.
And more evidence why the Corn Ferry Tour is such a great breeding ground. The iron play like that is good enough for any PGA Tour event. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. Easy does it there. It's a birdie at 14. Here at the 15th hole here at Wolf Creek, bit of a breather here. Nice, short par three. You don't want to miss this green. No, that's, that's the temptation there. If you try and bite off a little too much because it looks a little too easy, then a bogey here and you're in a bad mood all of a sudden at Wolf Creek. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Not an easy one, 20 feet away. Here in the round, birdies at 14 and 15. Our featured golfer here today had some moments, but maybe not the round one you're looking for, Frank. Too many mistakes, Rich. Uh, right now, don't think about the leader. Just worry about improving your own game. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Iona Steven. I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. line one over right here we go second round ea sports and the corn ferry tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf from eastern nevada and wolf creek golf club it's live second round coverage of the desert championship well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par four fourth. And this, a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. Should be able to spin this if he wants. 96 yards left for his second.
That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. And if you've ever used a putting mat as a holiday gift, this is the putt. Slightly up a hill and dead straight. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And he's into red figures now at one under par. We're in the desert, partner. I need water. You're going to get it here, Rich. Par five second hole's got a nice stream that runs down the left side, as well as cutting the fairway. There's a crop of uh, some three bunkers down that right side. I want to avoid that, but, yeah, Rich, this hole isn't too long. Under 500 yards, not even going to play that long. So very reachable. That tee shot shoot off an enormous amount on this par five. Easily reachable for two now. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This is second. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Length will be an issue here, no question, as will the speed down that slope. But this is for an eagle. No gimme here. Tricky one for birdie. Mm, a good opportunity lost there. So you can see definitely not a gimme there. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. Here at the sixth, 447 yard par four. Pretty good hole, Frank. Yeah, probably a layup hole too for the longer hitters. Um, something out there around two, the 280, 290 yard mark to make sure you don't go it in the stream. Obviously it's a dog leg right as you can see. The canyon on both sides is sort of uh, well defined so you know where not to go. Second shot plays a little bit back up the hill to a, uh, a green once again that's anything other than flat. Uh, it's fun. You've got to make sure you get that ball on the right tier if you want to have a birdie putt here. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. One, two, two is the number. And the pin, it's in the front portion of the green.
Ah, good approach shot. And birdie putt coming up. At, uh, approach shot just a little right, little short. This is a 16-footer. Yeah, he kind of got that one out there too far and it took away some of the speed. Safely in for par here at the sixth and he'll remain at one under par. Now onto the par four seventh hole. Is this a reachable par four, Frank? Um, distance wise, you would think so, but um, the designer has done something to avoid that, and that's put all this water in front of the green. It would take a mammoth tee shot, and that's something like 300 yards through the air if you're going to try and even drive this green. And is the risk worth it? Well, if you're just playing with your friends, maybe it is. Otherwise, you just lay it up just past those two bu those bunkers on the right and the left. Get it down there on the flat. A little pitch you would think is simple, but uh, because of the slope of this fairway, chances are you might not get a flat lie, and that's going to make that second shot that much harder. Should be able to spin this if he wants. 96 yards left for his second. Good chance at one. PJ Tour, Corn Ferry Tour, I don't care. That is a great shot. Should make this about 80% of the time. It's for birdie. Nah, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. It happens. He's in that 20% category. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay at minus three. So for our featured golfer, Frank, it is on to the week. And who knows, if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number, see what happens. Exactly. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well and sort of not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. Make a couple of birdies early, pop a long one in, and all of a sudden you're off and running. Till next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner. This has been a presentation of EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. So long, everybody. I made the cut. I made. Oh, we go.
check out check out the pro pass. Thanks for watching.